seen that. Uh, the Wolverine. Part two, not part two. Second movie. Is it kind the of part Wolverine. two? Oh, what do you consider it? Two of three in a way. I kind of consider it part one to Logan. Yeah, but it doesn't even it fill. It doesn't fit with Origins this, at all. This one has the best, um, uh, if you want to debate it being a standalone. This is the most standalone of any of them. This is the Black Panther of the universe. Sure. I don't know. Do, is Black Panther standalone? This, this is... It could be. Uh, maybe. Out of like, any of the Marvel movies, it definitely could But it's be. definitely in the universe. This feels like it could be yeah. its own separate, non-canonical... I don't know why I keep trying to say that word. Non-canon movie non-castrating is what you're trying to say <laughs> um yeah this is almost more of just a sequel to last stand than anything yes yes because gene gray is Which, dead okay can we talk about that real quick why why are okay. they acting like they have this huge love story it they kind of they that he, yeah he they, no they did they definitely he didn't. he flirted with her but now he's dreaming about her every night and they use the same Every time he jumps up and almost stabs somebody. Like, how many mm-hmm. times are you going to do that? Every, Every night. night. It's, just, it's too much. It's like the same. Only when he's trying to replace her with another woman. Oh, is that what it is? She's just tormenting him. Because this, this came out after The Last Stand, right? That's when she dies. Yeah. This was 2013. Last Stand was 2006 or seven. Was it that far apart? Because so I we had so. it came one, two, X Men Origins, The Last Stand, and now The Wolverine. Yeah, is the order. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, yeah, her showing up in his dreams was weird. Like, I get that she was important to him, but I don't think she was that important to him. No, not that and much. And then he goes off. So it starts off, he's just like a wild mountain man, right? Like he's just living out in the woods. It's like a, he's, a, he's a caveman. <clears throat> I want, really quick, before yeah. we start this, I at some point thought that I had seen this movie. I, I know that I put it on and watched it, and I know that I kind of had dozed uh-huh. a little bit. But after watching this movie, I think I may have slept through the <laughs> entire thing because – I didn't remember a single really? scene in this movie. It's a single scene. It's not terrible. It's not as bad as No, it wasn't Origins. bad at all. So in my head, I always had it low. Mm. Like, oh, I must have not liked no. this movie. But it's actually not that Out bad. of the franchise, it's one of the better ones. I, I thought, and now this one, I will say, his claws did stand out to me. And I thought they looked awesome. <laughs> okay. I didn't notice, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll go with you on that. Sh- oh, this one you didn't notice. Well, no, I I noticed they shiny and sharp. <laughs> I noticed in Origins because they look so bad, and this one they didn't stand out, which is a good thing. Like if you're not thinking about it, then that's that's the that's the best use of CGI is something that you don't notice. Come to think of it, this movie beginning would take place during Origins. Also, oh yeah, the timeline the because okay so the first is world scene war ii is right which is before right, vietnam is, is is the the bombing of nagasaki which took place during world war ii but we know he fought in world war ii at least in germany so now we know that he's been to both but then also fought in yeah vietnam, we're saber tooth so ex- they're together every other time raping so he got captured by the japanese but it did. <laughs> but did he? It, yeah, he was captured. He was in a pit. Okay, I couldn't tell. Was he a soldier or was he just there? No, I, I couldn't. He I, was. I don't recall. He was. He was there. Fighting. He was a POW captured by the Japanese. Okay. And okay, so he fought in both what they would call theaters in World War yeah. II. But how? So yeah, where was Saber Two? Saber Two should have been with him. Saber Two, but that must be. The well, not necessarily. Sabretooth's raping time. Not everyone had to do that. Yeah, he was raping somewhere. <laughs> so bad. Uh, he was already in Vietnam. <laughs> now, um, yeah, no, it, it's not yeah, super I, consistent, but I don't think they care. 
Although we didn't, I didn't mention, I did mean to, uh, in Origins, Lee Shriver did a pretty mm-hmm. good job. I think he's the standout of that movie. Uh, yeah, no, for I mean, sure. Sabretooth is kind of a he weak makes character. makes a great, like a human yeah. Sabretooth. Yeah, I don't care for it. I don't feel like he's as powerful as they made him. Yeah. Like, as menacing and, and destructive, but... Yeah. But as Like, the what actor, are you going to do with those claws? <laughs> the fingernails? They're so shallow. Yeah. I can't, we, I can't talk about Origins anymore, though. That's all I want to say. Don't... don't. Let's not get back into it. It's, it's actually. So I'm gonna say one oh, more thing. No. I'm gonna say one more thing. Right. Years before Origins came out, uh-huh. there was a, and this was back when I watched Family Guy. So this was a long okay. time ago. I don't know if you recall because did you used to watch Family Guy? I watched a little bit, and I'm not a super like fan. Early Family Guy. There's an episode where it, it's like a random episode where they all like get mutant powers. Uh-huh. Do you remember that one? No. They all like get like dozed in like toxic waste or something like that. And so like each person's got this cool power and then Meg, because everyone hates Meg, yeah. all, it goes to show her power and it's literally just like her fingernails grow long. And then I see this move. I'm like, he's got the Meg power? That's not <laughs> cool at all. I was like, it was a joke in Family Guy and here yeah. they're making it like he's the strongest mutant. Well, he's got but regenerative powers, anyways, and he's super strong, I think. Which is great. And he can prance. He's got this, prance? He, he what is it called? Prance, yes. Gallop? Gallop. I don't know. What? Trot? Uh, gallop is Spring? probably close. I don't know. It's weird. No animal moves like that. Maybe a monkey. Well, I would say like cheetahs and jaguars and stuff like Do that. Do they use their legs uh together like that though like the front two at the same time as they're you know what i mean like in unison together yeah yeah can you imagine seeing a cheetah run like a horse where all four <laughs> legs are doing something i feel different? like they do that that, i mean ridiculous. that's how they walk no they don't walking is very different i'm positive if you, if you watch like a cheetah jaguar <laughs> leopard lunch. all of those they run that same where their their legs are yeah both forward and then both back, and then they're together in like one spot, and that's yeah. how they spring forward. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I would like to see a, a cheetah run like a horse. Now. <laughs> I'll see what I can do for you. I wouldn't I'll, be. I'll I don't think I'd up. be as scared. Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, they'd be know. a lot slower. Um, oh yeah, but and but funny. So, so funny. This movie opens up. He is. <laughs> I, I don't know. I I didn't really like the way this opened up. He's sitting in that capsule with his uh, bone yeah. claws, right? Or did he have animantium at this time? I, I think he had... Bone claws, right? He would have had to have bone yeah. claws, yeah. And he's... Timeline-wise, at least, should have had bone he's claws. He's jabbed them into bricks. Now, going mm-hmm. back to your complaint again about Origins, I don't mean to keep bringing this up, his bones would not pierce brick. No, no matter how sharp yeah, they are. No, no, there's no way. They would they would break before they went yeah. through brick. Um, like I can I can get behind stabbing people. I can see that, especially like in the gut, right? Yep. Like, yeah, I believe that. That's fine. Uh, even in the chest, you know, you could get around the ribs, but you're not going through brick. Like, what is that? Even I don't even no. think you could do it into dirt. I mean, maybe, but not super well. And definitely not without breaking. Definitely not to the point where you could climb, you know, twenty feet and peek out. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, so he's trapped, and the Japanese are about to get bombed, and they're all running away, and some are per- permitting, performing, committing. committing. Yeah, I was, couldn't decide between Sep- seppuku. seppuku, which is seppuku? the samurai suicide for honor. Right, you kill yourself so your enemy yeah. can't do it yeah, to prevent much. your shame or something. I, I don't really know. I don't quite. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but you know, especially in modern time. Yeah, especially when you're about to get bombed. But I guess I don't know. Like it, the, I, I'm thinking more like 2007, 2008. <laughs> is yeah, we, we don't need to talk about that. Um, <laughs> 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 oh man 
But anyway, um, no, yeah, I mean, if but if you're getting bombed, it's the same thing. That's your enemy killing. Yeah, you. Yeah, the Japanese. You, you don't want that. In World War II, they were intense. They like they were scary. Uh, yeah. Um, like they, everyone like that was their their whole thing. Like we as Americans didn't really capture a lot of Japanese soldiers because anytime they're they didn't allow themselves to be taken. Care- yeah, they. So they were really brutal to American POWs and mm-hmm. they did that or they they were more okay with that because what they were told was the Americans are monsters. They're even worse. If they capture you, they will do unspeakable things, yeah. which probably true in some instances. Um, and right. I'm sure there was Japanese soldiers who weren't you know, crazy and terrible to the POWs. But like the, the propaganda that was told to them was just like, do not let yourself get captured. Otherwise it will be so much worse. And so there would be, you know, the American soldiers would pull up on villages, not even soldiers and the, just everyone in the village was dead. They would either be killed by the soldiers or killed by uh, suicide themselves. Not good. Uh, don't mean to bring this down. No. But so the <laughs> the commanding officers are permitting super, super crew. Wolverine gets out. Let's bring it back up with the bombing of Nagasaki. <laughs> Wolverine gets out and is like, hey, hop in this hole. He throws him down there, covers him up. And I d- don't think even a body can protect you from uh, the that blast. The nuclear yeah. Bomb? Even in the hole, like I, I don't see this happening. Like all the oxygen definitely would have got burned away. I would think, right? Well, no, because <clears throat> half the damage is, is radiation, right? You're not going to block it with. Uh, but with with them being as close as they were to the impact point, there's no. Well, way. the radiation is long term, right? Like that wouldn't hurt you right away, or would it? I'm pretty sure it was both it was immediate but also lasting yeah no i i think you would get affected by it but i don't think it would kill you instantly like it would be like poison uh, i don't know right being that close to it though it would yeah it, but it would be like super super poison <laughs> well the i think if you're that close it's the shock wave that kills you or the yeah i, I don't know it, it, it's but who knows? So anyways, a big fireball comes over the hole in the pit that they're in. The mm-hmm. fire would burn up all the oxygen that they're breathing, and they would die from that before super poison radiation killed them or the shockwave hit them. Like, I, the shockwave might hit them first, but in the hole I could see how that you're protected from that, but the, the lack of oxygen would definitely kill you. Yeah. Uh, but he survives because Wolverine burns on top of him and uh, turns into... See, that was crazy. He got all yeah. burned up, too. That was... I thought that was cool. Yeah. and But then he regenerates, and uh, the guy's like, wow, here, take my sword and use two hands because it's a Japanese sword, which I thought was a weird line that came back at the end of the movie, which I thought was a dumb callback, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's it's the, So he's, like, indebted to him, and... He sends now, so now we jump ahead. What do you think? 40 years? Probably more than that. Um, probably like 60 years. More, I would say probably 60 years. That, yeah, that dude had to be 80. Yeah. And he was probably 20 the at the World War II. Uh-huh. So about 60 years. Cause I think it's even futuristic ish, right? Like it's not supposed to. So, so we're, so this would put us at 2005. Well, I don't think. Oh, what? Okay, that makes that's based on when because the bomb. Yeah, that was nineteen forty-five. So yeah, I mean, assuming it is sixty years, it would put us in that area. And now, that was definitely Nagasaki, yeah. Yeah, because they. The only reason I know that it was that one and not Hiroshima uh-huh. is because they said okay. it later in the movie. They said Nagasaki. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so that that doesn't feel like enough time. He must have been older. Than, it must have been more than sixty years. Maybe he was like feel like enough time for what? 
uh, enough time. Well, because 2005 was before the first movie came out, right? No, the first movie was 2000. Okay, and then well then no, it was remember didn't we decide it was ninety nine, or was it two thousand? Two thousand. One of those. But I'm saying it was like really close, it was like really and this came out like right two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve, thirteen. So yeah. this, yeah. So he must have been like ninety. So it must be current day uh, yeah. with when Which the is, movie came that's, out. That's that's plausible. Um. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? So it it's not a, it time jumps to him being in the woods. And finding a bear shot with an arrow that's got poison on it, mm-hmm. which is another uh, foreshadowing thing, but it's like unrelated. Yeah. It's a weird. I don't know. Uh, the connection is weird to me. It's the connection is weird. Like, like, yeah. Because they, uh, <laughs> they, okay. they, it's it's, it's so just weird. like a set. Or like an action piece, which is fine, right? It's an action movie, but the the meaning behind having the poisoned arrows, and then him getting shot with poison arrows, and also one of the enemies being poisonous, like it's the I don't know, like it's somewhat like a he's upset because the bear died unfairly, then he gets shot unfairly with it, like it's a weird uh, theme. I don't know. Like cowards use poison yeah. arrows. Maybe I mean maybe that's what they're trying to show that her boyfriend was not a good guy. Yeah. But anyway, so he goes and he he stabs a guy with a poison arrow to get back at him for the bear because the bear killed five people. Not quite justified to me. Um. What do you think? What's your opinion? What do you mean not just... Of uh, Wolverine to go and stab that guy in the hand with a po- poisoned arrow. Well, yeah. If he had finished it off like you're supposed mm-hmm. to do, if you shoot an animal, those people wouldn't be dead. Yeah, no. It's that guy's fault. I agree. But is it fair of him to stab the guy and potentially kill him with the poison? Because jerk move, shooting a bear with a poison arrow, that's not lawful the bear did go and kill people but wasn't his intention that's an accident um yeah like say I, kind of i guess say he got arrested for it right he wouldn't be charged with murder no he wouldn't be responsible for that no yeah i don't know I don't think Wolverine cares, though. Oh, he definitely doesn't care. I'm just saying, like, the justification that the movie gives you for Wolverine to do this was because the people died. I don't feel like you needed to add in people died for him to do this. It probably would have been enough for Wolverine just to be mad about the bear dying um, and the bear suffering for him to go and do it. Them adding in, oh, and the bear killed five people seemed kind of unnecessary to me like i there's a scene in the towards the middle of the movie when wolverine throws a guy out the window and he lands in the pool and she's like how did you know there's a pool down there he's like i didn't i thought that was a really good moment for him to show like yeah i i like that that he does yeah he just doesn't care he's willing to just kill people and uh the 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 line about the bear killing five people felt tacked in to justify why yeah. he was attacking this guy. And I feel like him just being kind of crazy is a better yeah. justification. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, so he fights them. Then that cartoon girl shows up and she, <laughs> she, her face bothered me so much. Like, I'm like, how does someone have such a sharp chin? Like it, it was pretty sharp. It's like Unbelievable. Almost like she seems, she just looks like a fake person. Yeah. And like my mind just, it was, couldn't handle it. Yeah. So she convinces him to go to Japan to see the guy that he yeah. had saved. And he just wants to pay his respects yeah. or whatever. So he reluctantly agrees. 
and they go, and then he sees it. <laughs> yes. And he's like, hey. The guy. What to do? The guy, the Japanese guy tells him that he's figured out a way to give him, uh, I was gonna, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say morality, but that's not right. To make mortality. him mortality, to make him mortal, to take away his, uh, his immorality. Nope, that's not right. Is that right? <laughs> Immortality. Oh, man, I'm having a hard time today. Uh, but also his immorality. <laughs> so he's just going to let him die, right? He's like, here, give me, let me take away your power, and I'm going to give it to myself. In Wolver- he takes away his ability to be Richard Alpert. Richard Alpert? From Lost. He lets him age at oh, the okay. I don't remember his Look, name. Look, never mind it, okay? <laughs> um, the dude who never aged. The dude who never aged? Yeah. Who? He worked for the island? The bad guy? Ben? No. No, not Ben. Richard Albert. He was there like in the 70s, and then we saw him. He was there when Locke was a kid. I don't... Maybe you didn't watch the I'm show. I'm pretty sure I, I watched every episode. Um, you don't remember Richard Alpert? Not by name. He what was, does he look like? What What's the actor? He looks like he wears eyeshadow. <laughs> it doesn't. But help he me. doesn't. Did you watch? Did you watch the Bates Motel? No. Okay, then you're a lost. Yeah, one. sorry. I'll I'll show you. His name is Nestor Carbonell or something. I'll send you. A I'm sure. I'm sure. As soon as I see him, I'll remember. But based on his name and your description, is not helping me. He. How many people were in the show Lost that did not age? All of them. They all look the same from beginning to end. What are you talking about? Other than Walt. Yes. Yeah, but you're talking about the course of 100 days. This dude didn't age over the course of, like, decades. Yeah? but You don't remember he recruiting, like, Locke when he was a little kid? No. And then he saw Ben when he was a little Mm. kid, and then he was there. Oh, my gosh. You are... (laughs) You are let's, something else, man. <laughs> let's focus on Wolverine here for a minute. I can't. Wolverine refuses. Hold on. Oh. I'm going to. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to see right. this picture. Wolverine refuses to give him his power because he's like. He said, no, that's Yeah. Good. It doesn't really make sense. He's like, you don't want what I got and leaves. Uh, It doesn't track. Like he's almost, he a, really, he's almost offended. He really wants to die. He's like pining yeah. after Jean Grey so much and he wants to die when he has an option. He's kind of on board. Is that Hank Azaria? <laughs> yes. Hank Azaria from Lost is who I'm talking <laughs> well, about. Well, that's who the picture looks like. I'm trying to find a picture of him from Lost. Here we go. What's, what's the actor's name? What else is that guy in? Nestor Carbonell. Carbonell? I don't know. Nestor. He was in, like I said, he was in Bates Motel. He was in The Dark Knight. He was the mayor. He was the mayor? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I do not remember him from Lost at all. He was one of my favorite characters. Nope. We are everybody. Uh, You are. Um. Come so yeah, L- Logan's reasoning for not doing it is because the guy wanted it, but it was like, why would that stop you? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Maybe because deep down he doesn't really want to die. I guess, but it, it it I don't know. It did not. It it didn't make sense. It didn't. It didn't jazz. Yeah, with it, you. it didn't track. Um, but then they inject him with that matrix bug that stops his healing powers and he so the old guy dies that night they go to the funeral the next couple days and logan ends up getting shot because he sees someone who is definitely creepy and he's like oh this guy's bad so he keeps walking the guy's like stop 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 then the guy just pulls out a shotgun and starts blasting people which seemed insane because Logan was only walking. He wasn't a threat. He wasn't even like concerned with that guy. 
he was just trying to follow the girl, right? Yeah, but at, to them, she's like royalty, right? You can't just approach them. But it was the Yakuza who pulled the gun. It was the bad guy. It wasn't the protectors. It wasn't like, oh, he's he's threatening her. They were assassins. Yeah. And he like... That's true. I don't he know. He panicked because he's like, oh, I must have been caught, which didn't make sense. I don't know. But uh, I had a problem with this because... So he gets shot and he reacts super intense, right? Like he's like... Oh no, I just got shot in the chest. This is really bad. Yeah. And then he gets beat with like bats and he's like, oh no, I'm getting hit with bats. This is really bad. Which 100%, right? If you're a normal person and any of that stuff happens, it's going to be really bad. Yeah. But the whole other, all the other movies put forward the idea that Wolverine experiences pain just like everyone else, but he yeah. just heals from it. Why doesn't he ever react like, Oh, this is, yeah. Like that? He just, any other time, he just grimaces and goes, ugh. It just makes him yeah. mad. And then he starts fighting, but he never, like, it's not consistent between the two. So, with. Yeah, like, like when he's in that bar scene, when he's got the arrow in the guy's hand and the dude breaks the, the, the glass on his face and there's that chunk of glass in his yeah. cheek. That's still going to hurt so bad. Yeah. I don't care if you can heal yourself. He's still going to be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I would go that far, but I, I'm with you for the most part. Okay, well, give me the sound you would make if that exact thing happened uh, to you. Oof. Do it. Like that? I think that that would be my noise. That sounds like you're about to cry. Oof. Oh, oh no. If someone smashed a glass on my face, it would definitely be oof. Like that. Oh. <laughs> I still say, it'd be like, oh! <laughs> um, and I probably would cry a little bit. Oh yeah, I would definitely cry. Jerk. I would. I would cry a lot. Um, I would cry even just pulling the glass out of my face like that. I would probably cry every time I put my claws out. Yeah. Oh, that. So that every single time, I'm like, ah! <laughs> so okay, I had a question about his healing powers. Right. They were just slowed down extremely. They were still sort of working? Yeah. They were still working Just, very slowly. So why, when he retracted his claws, right? So he gets shot in the stomach and he's Which, bleeding for a yeah. long time. Why isn't blood pouring out of his hands? Because uh, they're being plugged by the claws. <laughs> they're just being plugged? Okay. I guess that makes sense. But don't you think, like... When he retracts them, shouldn't it just be like constant blood pouring out until like a month later when they finally close up? A month later? You think that's how long it was going to take? Yeah, for sure. I punched. So I, I think I told you. And I, <laughs> it always comes back to you punching. I know. I was sleeping and I sleepwalk uh -huh. and sometimes I sleep fight, which is really unfortunate. Oh, I remember. And uh, I thought there was poisonous gas released in my bedroom so i panicked and i ran to my door which our door here at this house is like made of plastic and so i tried to punch my way out of the door and i just shattered it on one side <laughs> but i split open my hand kind of like right where wolverine's claw would pop out in the middle in the middle claw and it and that was when you realized your own power <laughs> yeah that I, I don't i i heal extra slow because it the two realized you had no It powers. took me so long for that little slice to heal up. And Wolverine's claws would be way more violent to your hand. I definitely think without stitches, it would take so long for that to close. Yeah, it's an oversight, I guess. But yeah, so blood should be pumping out of his hands. Um, but so he he doesn't have his powers... Runs off with the the Japanese guy who we think is dead at the time, and plot twist is not dead. The twists in these movies are not good. No, the, I, to be honest, the whole family thing really confused me. Is what was going on? What the whole Japanese yeah. family and all their their internal drama? Mm -hmm. I did not fully grasp. What okay, was so. I, I, there's a good chance I'm wrong about this, but I'll, I'll do my best from what I understand. I'll let you know if you're wrong, because I, I understand it pretty well. The grandfather 
was the owner of a business. He was going to leave the business to his granddaughter and not his son. She was going to get married to her boyfriend who was working for somebody. He he was the most confusing. I didn't understand yeah, where he fit in. Because he was going to marry her and then kill her. But the dad was also going to kill her. So he could get the business. But they were at odds with each other for some reason. That's something to do with that lady. I don't get what her motivations were. Who did she work? The poison lady? Yeah. I don't know. I don't she was weird. Also, she put poison on a pin and then stabbed the guy in the throat. You could just stab yeah. the dude in the throat. You don't have to put yeah, she wanted to You don't have him. to poison him. Or you she could have just poisoned him. She licked someone in the face and he died instantly. None of like it's just overkill. You don't have to stab the dude in the throat and poison him. Just pick one. Both are effective. Pick your poison, am I right? <laughs> uh, so Wolverine is dying, trying to figure out what's going on. Escapes to, I guess, Nagasaki, right? With... Yeah. It's somewhat his love interest? Yeah, that didn't make sense. Yeah. At all. It I felt It felt that. unnecessary. Um, I feel like Wolverine, similar, I guess, to Logan, right? Like he has, um, uh, what's her name? What's the girl's name in that one? The little girl, Laura. Was it? I Lauren, don't Laura. Some, it's something like that. Um, like he's just kind of her protector, you know, like he, like a, almost like a fatherly role with her. And I feel like that could have been the same here. It didn't need to be like romantic at all. Like he, well, he, she, she still had a boyfriend. Yeah. Which was weird, but he's a bad guy. Hey, what's up, Max? Um, he was a bad guy. So it was okay for her to fall in love with Wolverine. But like, even in the uh, uh, first X-Men rogue, he kind of like took care of her. He, his character is yeah. much more. It's fatherly. Yeah. Like he doesn't need a romantic, uh, um, interest to be a motivation he just does it yeah and I, I felt like they kind of like forced it and because she was still in love with the assassin who was trying to kill her but she didn't know he was trying to kill her i don't know it was weird yeah i didn't care for it at all because <laughs> then we still had the whole gene gray stuff going on yeah and so he keeps falling asleep and Jean Grey is inviting him to die or like begging for him to die, right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but Jean Grey... And then he keeps the, waking up. So at the end of The Last Stand, Jean Grey is still alive. She dies, but Professor X like senses her, right? Isn't that what you're left with? Um... I don't recall that. At the, at the it's like the post credit scene. He's like teaching, and then he like fills her presence. No, the post credit scene is is because he died, and it's him harnessing someone else's body. Oh yeah, ah, oh, these movies are bad. Max says that girls think they can save the damaged guy. Was she the pursuer of Wolverine, or was he the one that kind of fell in love with her? Oh, for sure. He wasn't doing that. He wasn't making any yeah. moves. Um, I mean, he is the most damaged. It doesn't get much more damaged than Wolverine. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, so they're off in Nagasaki. He talks to her about her grandfather. And there's no there's no clear turn on the grandfather being a bad guy. Right, he's just dead the whole time, and then he turns into the villain at the end. There's no like, don't be so surprised. <laughs> they like they. I think it's clear that the dad is a bad guy, for sure. But the grandfather just like becomes the ultimate bad guy out of kind of nowhere. Like, 
she talks about him with respect a lot and about how he always talked about uh, Logan and all this stuff. And it's just, I don't know, it, it takes a weird turn at the end. Yeah, it, that's why I was so confused. I was like, I must have missed something here. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you did. I don't I don't think there was anything to miss. I just think it was poorly made or poorly written. Just What did yeah. you Let's hit on what did you like about this? Movie? Um I like the darker tone and I like the more serious uh um storyline that they had with it. I like that they made him more vulnerable. I thought that was a good choice. But overall, I don't really care for the movie. Like, it's way better than all the other ones up to this point. Maybe the first one is better, um, but the action is so bad in the first one, it's kind of hard to compete. Although the train the train scene of, was, was so say, stupid. It's so bad. You no. Like I, oh, I hated it. it. I hated every second of the train action. I, I thought you might. Um, whether... Like they're like it. jumping around each other and the train is just forever long because they keep getting knocked down and then they fly like 200 feet and then they stop themselves and then it that, happens again happens again i just again. liked how that looked uh, whenever they would jump up and they just go barreling towards the back yeah, so max max agrees with me the train scene was bad oh, <laughs> um, it was kind of funny when he faked the guy out and the guy jumped into the pole, but it, yeah, I love that. That, that was, is a very long sequence just for that one little joke. Hmm. All right. And I liked when he got back and she had no idea what was going on. It's just like, what have you been doing? <laughs> He's like all beat up yeah. and, and sweaty and everything. Um, but fine. I guess it's not good. I hate yeah. It. What'd you like about the movie Taylor? Uh, I like the fights. I thought they were pretty good. I didn't understand most of the story, to be <laughs> honest. I liked Wolverine in this movie. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much well, it. Well, I mean, Hugh Jackman, each time he played Wolverine, refined the character more and more. Like, he got yeah. he got better at it each time. And he each time got... He got more jacked. Oh, yeah. He, he got more Hugh Jack every time. <laughs> He was a huge Jackman by the end. Um, he, he, like each time it seemed like they got darker with it. They got more intense. The action got better. Mm-hmm. Um, the storyline just a little grittier. Weren't great. I don't know the. I I really like the concept of this thing. I just didn't enjoy the execution. I I feel like I would have liked it. Um, better had it been in subtitles than have the Japanese people speak in English because I well they went back and forth they went back and forth and their accents were not really thick but thick enough to where I had to work Mm -hmm. to understand what they were saying like I had to hear it and then think about it and then understand it I couldn't just follow along where do you think with subtitles you can at least read it as it's happening and know what's going on Without having to like go back and go back and go back. Do you think that they this would have been a better movie had they used the teenage high school Yakuza from uh, <laughs> from Tokyo, Tokyo Drift? Drift? I think so. If DK yeah. would have showed up, it w- <laughs> that would have been perfect. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah, just change Lucas Black with uh, Hugh Jackman, and just have both movies at the same oh, time. Jeez. Uh, oh. Um. <clears throat> I was thinking about this. We don't really have a modern day Ronin, a modern day gunslinger type story anymore, do we? There's nothing of like the closest thing I could think of is either about someone becoming a lawyer to fix a problem or about a teacher kind of going into the school, like a underprivileged school where they come in and like change stand things. Stand and deliver. Yeah. Like stand and deliver. Um, <laughs> Max says, of course, Fast and Furious gets mentioned. We can't stop talking about it, unfortunately. It's it's no, Taylor's it's, favorite. It's part of my life now, and I hate it. <laughs> um, it's the worst. But, like, where you have a lone person, right? Like, this is this is yeah. kind of a, um, it's, well, it's a Ronin story, right? Like, a, a, a lone guy shows up and saves the, the village. 
what's the modern day version of that? Because that's been a story that's been used or the format has been used throughout history. And kind of now it seems like we've run out of being able to tell that story. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything that would be comparable. Hmm. Cowboys versus aliens. It's got to yeah, be it. Maybe. I mean, I guess you can do it. No, that was stupid. like, I mean, I still haven't seen this, but the machine gun preacher storyline, right? Where you, you have someone go to a yeah. village, but it's still, it's not the same. In a, in a way you could, I guess. No, it's not the same. I get Mad Max kind of is that like a futuristic dystopian but it's more but you, but what we're talking about what we're looking at with the wolverine is more of getting dragged into yeah. something that wasn't your yeah. problem not <clears throat> going and looking for a problem or trying to fix anything just like well you're here now, you know what it so is the help. most modern day version of that is hardball with keanu reeves that's exactly what yeah. it is a hundred percent um but yeah so the wolverine i think is is the best out of the five so far, right? So far, yeah, for sure. Uh, it's still, it's not great. They get better. Logan is definitely, I think, the best out of all of them. Logan, for um, sure. Uh, yeah. But so, they're going back to the story. They're in Nagasaki, and they're being chased by assassins this whole time. Was the cartoon girl... So, uh, <laughs> I keep getting mixed up here the dad tells the cartoon girl that she's just a plaything for someone who outgrew her yes was that implying that she was created that she was a slave that what why was she a plaything that someone outgrew did you do you understand that yeah i have no okay. idea but I, I I heard that, but it didn't really make sense yeah. to me. Yeah, I I can't remember if she was like a clone or something like that. Um, but she's like a super assassin, right? Like she can kill everybody. Yeah, and and she can see the future. Oh, that's right. <laughs> she well, can she see the future, or she can see when people die? I think she can just see. No, I think she can. See- well, they called it seeing the future, but it did only sound like it was limited to people. Yeah, I think deaths. she can just see people's death because at the bar scene, she's like, "These guys are gonna die in two weeks. They don't need your help." Um, that's that would be a terrible mutant power, just seeing people's deaths. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because she said she saw her parents' death when she was like five, and then couldn't do anything about it. What out of all the powers? In these movies, which one would you choose? Diamond uh, Girl? Charlie's. <laughs> uh, the Blob. <laughs> the Blob. There you go. Oh, you're like halfway there already, aren't you? Yeah. Well, that's why. I just use it <laughs> as an excuse. Um, I think if I had anybody's power, I'd probably going to go Wolverine. Wolverine? W- with the adamantium? Or is that something that you would have to find? Oh, no. It has to be. It would have to be the adamantium. The bones would bother me. <laughs> I would never use um, them. Yeah, I, I think Nightcrawler's is pretty cool, but I don't know if I would want to be blue alien like him. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so, I mean, Magneto's would be pretty cool too. Yeah. Uh, so throughout Origin Grey, the Wolverine, they're being chased by assassins. They're trying to. So, the assassins were hired by the grandfather, correct? To capture. See, this is what I don't. I don't even. <laughs> to, to capture. I was so confused who worked for who. The granddaughter that. back. Right. Maybe. Right. Because he, she know. ends up. She ends up back with the grandfather. And the poison girl the venom girl works for the grandfather and the boyfriend works for the grandfather but they're trying to stop wolverine from saving her from the grandfather and then to take 
his DNA to give to the grandfather, correct? Yeah, something like that. Uh, That's about as close as we're going to get. Yeah. So it turns out, shockingly, the grandfather's still alive. And he has put... Did you did you actually see that coming? The first time I saw it? Um, I don't think so, but I like didn't care. Like, I wasn't like, <gasps> yeah. what? You know, like, it wasn't a shocking thing to me. It was just like, oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. Like, it's, it, it was more like a, <clears throat> huh. Like, there's no, there's no real clues to that happening, right? Like, it's, a twist is only satisfying if you miss it. You know what I mean? Like, there's, you think back and you're like, like if there was signs and you didn't pick them up, and then if you watch it again, you could be like, "Oh, well, look, this points right." Yeah, like with six, there's no with six that. cents, right? You go back and you're like, yeah. "Oh wow!" At dinner, she was never talking to him. They didn't have any interaction between each other, and like everything is like, "Oh, that totally makes sense that he's dead." In this, yeah. you're just like, "Oh, I, okay." He pretended to be dead and then he came back in a robot suit. Like, whatever, <laughs> you know? Um, I thought that... His line of just like, don't act so surprised. Like, why shouldn't I be surprised though? <laughs> yeah, there is no... There was no indication this yeah. was coming. Um, but, you know, whatever. He's in a, a samurai adamantium robot exoskeleton, Yeah. right? Can it be a robot yeah. exoskeleton? It was weird. Like uh, I think it's one or the yeah. other. Uh I don't know. It he fights with Wolverine, Wolverine chops his head off, but thankfully for the grandpa, his head was in the chest, which seemed like a weird yeah. choice. Like why But he also the thing cuts through Wolverine's adamantium claws, which hurt me so deep. Why is that? Oh, I, I don't know. I just felt oh. it. Well, because they oh, they show the the bone chips in it when they dig the yeah. drills into it, like that was the upsetting part to me. Do you imagine someone putting just drilling out your bone marrow like that to suck out all your mutant powers? Yeah, it's not fun. Um, but so he's he's draining Wolverine's powers from him, putting it into himself, and this CGI looks terrible. He's de aging in front of your eyes, and Wolverine is yeah. aging. And actually, the aging looks way better than the de-aging, which is probably easier to do because you're adding. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And instead of taking away. Um, But during all this, the granddaughter shows up, takes Wolverine's claws and just stabs her grandfather in the head. And then he's like, it's me. It's your grandfather. And she's like, my grandfather died. And then he stabs him right in the throat. I buried my grandfather. And to me, that's like none of that seemed right <laughs> you know she like totally gave up on her family for wolverine i mean i guess he was trying to mm-hmm. kill her but he wasn't actually trying to kill her i don't know that's what made no sense to me <laughs> i don't know um yeah I don't, I don't know do you have anything else about the wolverine that you want to say because that's kind of the end right um, they kill the grandfather he yeah. gets his powers back regrows his claws but he doesn't have the adamantium but in the next movie he just does again which i was waiting for them to address like how does he get that back because next for this one would be uh days of future past right like it this this ends and it leads into him in days of future past unless this is supposed to take place after but they don't they don't make that clear in the timeline of when yeah. this would take place. If this is like of a, a timeline that just ceased to exist because of days of future past or not. Yeah. I, I don't know. It was very confusing, but he, he gets on a plane with the cartoon girl. She gives him the yellow and black suit that never comes back. Then it goes yeah. to the post credit scene where Professor X and Magneto show up at the airport and it's like, we need your help. And I, 
I, I guess that leads into Days of Future Past, but it doesn't really feel like it. Like, I think they use that again, but I don't remember how that all fits Why together. did they have to stop him in security? At yeah, it seems very inconvenient for everyone. Just let him walk through first. Or get him before. Yeah. Like, they, it seems like they really knew what was happening. It didn't seem necessary to catch him like that, but, you know. I don't know. Maybe it's not that hard to freeze everyone with your mind. So he doesn't even care. It's true. Overall, how would you rate this? Uh, Wolverine for the series. So far, this is the best one. Um, As a movie, if we're going negative five to five, I'd probably say two. Like it's decent. It's a, it's a okay movie, but it's not like that thought engaging, you know, like it's just kind of, yeah. Like you, you watch it and you're like, all right, yeah, that was, that was cool. But you don't feel the need to rewatch it. You don't really feel the need to think about what happened. You're just like, that was interesting. Like, I think the trailer is way better. Yeah. Like you watch a trailer and you're like, you get you pumped and then you watch a movie and you're like, oh, that wasn't nearly as good as I thought it was going to be. Where like Logan, you watch the trailer and it gets you excited for it. And then you watch a movie and it like makes you kind of think about it afterwards. So, but what do you, how would you rate it? Uh, I'd probably give it a two. Yeah. It's, it's on the positive side, but it's not like a, I'll probably not watch it again. I don't see myself watching it. Yeah. I, I don't think I will either unless I need to talk about it again, but I, I don't have any desire. Like I wouldn't watch it just to enjoy watching it, you know? But uh, yeah, I think that's, that's it for the Wolverine. We kind of, we did this one back to back with, x-men origins and that kind of burned all our wolverine talk i think yeah we're all done but we will be back next week with logan which i'm super excited for because i haven't seen that since it was in theaters Same. and uh i think i'm gonna watch the the black and white version and see how that is but uh is that the only difference i think so i don't think there's any other i don't think there's any story difference but it's just uh artistic black and white yeah but uh, yeah, so we will be back next week. Uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and uh, yeah, yeah. thanks for listening. <laughs>